why is it in the engine? Yeah, and this is good that, that Larry includes this in the RFC because I remember from the previous RFCs, this was a question that was asked. And it, make, it kind of makes me annoyed when people ask this question. Why do we add anything in the engine at this point? I mean, you, PHP can do anything it wants, right? You don't need all this fan, fancy syntax. We have, we've have we gotten attributes. We were able to do that without attributes. Uh, we've gotten uh, constructed property, property promotion. We could do that without it. We could, uh, got named arguments. We don't really need named arguments. It's just for convenience, right? Um, the list goes on and on and on. So why is it in the engine? Well, the answer is, I'm going on a rant here, but the answer is very simple because it's it's useful for developers and we're the ones writing like PHP like hours upon hours every day you know let's just that give it to us that this is what many people not everyone but what many people want so yeah I don't, let, let's read what Larry has to say about it. Sorry for the rant. The biggest limitation of any user space implementation is performance. Okay. So, see, this is, Larry, Larry is smart. He uses the performance argument. And performance always works well when people are against something. If you say, yeah, but it's going to be more performance. <laughs> Even the most minimal implementation requires adding two or three function calls to every operation. That's true, which is relatively expensive in PHP. A native, I, I recently learned this when I was um, uh, when I wrote an HTML parser, as as you do, of course, um, <laughs> and like I was I was debugging it and it, it got like a, a, a how it went from six hundred milliseconds to thirty milliseconds parsing like a big HTML file and the only thing I changed was instead of using a a private function call so within the same class this function instead of doing that just inlining and that, that had like so such a big impact so yeah function calls are expensive a native implementation would not have that additional overhead crel fb this is tra uh, tra I'm, uh, I'm talking dutch this is by the way um the larry's own implementation also results in somewhat awkward function nesting like this yeah Compared to the compiled version, this has two extra wrapping closures uh, that could not be compiled away. The call to pipe itself and a for each loop inside a pipe. All of that, all of those are eliminated, eliminated with a native operator. As noted above, partial function application would also allow eliminating the two manual closures. Yes, that's that would be nice now. If we get partial function application. Larry's on a roll. Some, uh, yeah, okay, more elaborate implementations tend to involve magic methods or multi-layer middlewares, which are a severe overkill for sticking two functions together. Absolutely right. Additionally, a native operator would make it much more easier for static analysis tools. Oh, also a good argument. Performance, static analysis. And I'm here with my arguments, you know, developers just like it. I think that's a really good argument, by the way. If we're talking about, like, the 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 um, success of PHP and the popularity of PHP, just like yeah, okay. <laughs> Static analysis tools would know the input's value in most cases, the callable types on the what's RHS return. Uh, no, I don't know, and could compare them directly without several layers of obfuscated user space function calls between them. Nice, it's a good argument, but you did miss like develop it just makes our lives easier you know future scope <laughs> this is step one <laughs>